Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 10 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So in the last episode, fix my mob farm, look at this! And I got some lag and fell off the ladder and died. So what I did is I intercepted the mob like at level 10 or 12 below, so that they fall onto here and they get moved by the vector plate to these nice little diamond spike which gives me a ton of loot the problem is these get filled out pretty quickly because these loot bag they take a lot like they take one spot each so every time you get a loot bag you kind of lose one spot immediately so i gotta get that taken care of and start bringing it here i want to start automatically putting into here the uh the things, sorry, I want to put automatically all the drops into here and the loot bag all into here to automatically be opened. Although I'm also going to have to empty that. So that's going to be a time lapse kind of thing. I don't want to waste that time while I have you guys <laughs> in an episode. Then, like I said, I was going to, I started building this little place here and I got some worm. And the way you get worm, just to show you, because I did it in the time lapse, I just needed them to be able to move forward, is that you come to a place where you have some grass and you just start right clicking. And as you break the, gra uh, the grass, sometime you will get a worm. Sometime? Okay. I uh, don't want to lose all of my grass, so let's just re-expand everything a little bit. And these will break by themselves, or I can just stomp on them to uh, transform them from being farmland to being normal grass. And you just go like this, more grass, and come on, give me one worm. That pig looks so weird. And these electric energetic sheep, they give you wool that can produce energy. So that's really weird. I think that my mob farm is still causing lag because back there, I'm in a situation where I have a lot of drops on the floor. And also, I can't wait to reopen the top because since there was water, I'm wondering if it's not full of spider. And one way to usually resolve that is that you put some spikes along all of the wall. What I'm thinking is this, the stone spikes are so inexpensive that I might end up just like creating a ton of stone spike and lining the whole surrounding of the... Oh, I got two worms. Derp. So I've been doing this for no reason. So that's how you get worm. I wanted to show you that. And the beauty of worm is that you put one on the ground like this and it helps the growth and also water a three by three around them. See that was watered, the worm goes to it and it gets watered. So it helps for your crop growth. So let's come in here and let's take a quick look at basic farming. So we opened that last time and I did the crop stick and the seed to show you, but we had made the watering can before, I just never claimed it. So let's claim it now and we have worms. So let's claim this one and get our worms now. Let's just check what we got. Oh. Okay, I don't know the range of a mega torch, so I'm not sure that I want to put it down. What if I put it down here? But okay, the beauty of a mega torch is that when I decide to go in my mob farm to open it up and be safe, like that's going to be amazing. Anyway, what I let's just continue with the farming. I just want to get two or three quests done in farming so I can show you. So this setup here, where you're trying to improve your seeds. You know what? I'm gonna, I don't wanna run back and forth all the time, so let me break that. Oh, always grab the book first, because I've had situation where I've lost the book. Not normal, but it has happened, so now I don't take risk with that anymore. So what's, what's a tier box? Oh, it's something I can eat. And these are glasses that I just don't, care about I'm gonna throw them off so let's put my seed analyzer and you know what I'm going to make a small setup that will seem fairly ridiculous to you but it's just it's something I've always done because I hate the time that you waste in analyzing seed so usually what I do is something like this oh. and then I put this here 
And what I do is that when I break one, two, three, four seed, I come back here and I just go and put them all in here. So this way they get fed in. Ooh, I missed one. Yeah, right here. Come on, pick it up. So I put them back here and then they go, they get analyzed and they just come here and then you can see. So, oh, that's a two, that's an improvement. That's not improved. That's an improvement and that's an improvement. So that's a one, one, two, ten. So one, oh, this one's already two, two and one. So that one's not good. And I forgot about something very important that you always want to do. I'm going to progress toward the next step. So it wants us to duplicating seed. It wants us to craft a clipper. You can use clippers on plants in crop sticks to obtain clipping of them, which you can plant on other crop stick that essentially allows you to duplicate crops and it duplicates the uh, the value. So see when this one's two, two and one, 10, well, this one is one, 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 10, and it caused a seed that was lower quality. So we don't want that one. We, we want to just get rid of that one. I'm still going to keep the, the seed clipping because these seeds are used for botania, but you don't want, you want to use that one. So now we're going to make a clipper. Clipper is made with shears and an iron ingot, and we have everything we need here. We just don't have a crafting station nearby. So let's come back here. And we're going to first make some shears, then put this there, this there, and it was like this, or hello, ah, like this. And now I can show you. The problem with clipping is that they don't work 100% of the time. So I'm going to show you what, usually not to waste any time, this is how I do it. Let me just check my reward. Wow fleshy snow nugget <laughs> don't really care okay so this one is mature you take a clipping and now it goes to 87 percent. you can take a second clipping but you don't want to take too many clipping because sometimes you can break your plant well not sure it happens in this mod pack but it happened in a previous mod pack and i never take a chance anymore so i just spam my uh growing ability and you know what let me look at this one one ten and see this one is two ten two ten also so i also do not want that seed to be there so I'm going to clip this twice and then just wait for those to grow again. And this one's good. Like it's already two, two, two. So it's a good improvement. Wow. I think it's because it's night. I shouldn't be doing this at night, but I have two clipping. So I'm going to try it, but I'm pretty sure I won't get that lucky. So you plant this and you just right click the clipping and it worked first time. Okay. Get rid of the clipping. You don't need it anymore. And then you come here and let's put another clipping here. Eh. Wow. Okay. I got super lucky. Both of them work on the first try, but I usually get four or five of each because I think it's a 10% chance or something like that. But now I have a 2 2 one, 10, 2 2 one, 10. So it's either going to be a same seed or an improved seed. So that's why I always be clipping 2 2 10. Two, okay. So it had copied itself just before I broke it. Don't need that. So this, I did not get an improvement on that one. So let's put it back down. And these I'm still waiting. And this is one, one, 10 and one, one, 10. And this is a two, 10. So I'm gonna break this one and break that one. Let me put this one right here and just put the one, one, two, 10. And then for the potatoes, I have a better one. I have a two, 10 and they're both one, one, one. So same thing again, gonna break everything the crop stick there and now it's just a question of waiting for them to grow so i can clip them but technically they won't grow because it's night and agricraft brings the idea that at night you can't do this so as you can see this whole seed management it's going to take a lot of time and i'm going to show you why i decided to rush and start that you guys might say but phil like etc you have a lot of quests not finished like in basic thinkering i still have those four to do and I got better storage to start and I got basic factory that's finally unlocked. I got a lot to do, but basic farming, I'm gonna show you what the issue is. It wants us to, f well, it unlocked both. Like this is unlocked, but this is also unlocked and it's important because it wants us to make spores. It says you can crossbreed carrots and potatoes on mycelium to create spores. 
I don't want to make the mycelium right now because mycelium is an issue. Well, I could then just die, but I hate the idea that I would have to die. I don't have rich fight to grow, so the way to do it is life infusion and hate heart. So it's a death sentence if I do that. I still need the mushroom, but the mushroom you get with a cocoa bean over a fern. So I can do that, but I have to do that like four times and get it. So I'm probably going to work on that a little bit later because there's no emergency to do that. Then it talks about tier one seeds. You are able to crossbreed the most basic of seeds to make carrots and sugarcane. Well, we know about that because we we already used wheat and pumpkin, I think, to make our first sugarcane here. Okay, so that we know how to make and we've already done. So let's claim that quest. Should have claimed it an episode ago, but I forgot. Ooh, what's an Akashic Tome? It's the tome that has all the tomes in it. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it. I thought it had all of them. Now I just transformed it into that one. Which is one of the lamest one that I don't really need. Okay, so poo me. Let's talk about tier two seeds. Sugarcane and pumpkin seeds open up a huge range of new seeds that you can make with crossbreeding. This includes scallion, pumpkin, cactus, sweet potato, and barley seed. So we got the pumpkin seed already, but we don't have a cactus seed. We just have cactus that we can grow on sand. <coughs> but we want a cactus seed. So if I come here and I say, Cactus seed. It's going to show me that I get a cactus seed on sand with a sugar cane and a potato seed. So I'm going to have to make this. Um, I'm going to have to get to working on that part. I already have a um, sugar cane seed right here, so probably going to do it here, but it's not really an emergency. The reason I'm showing you that is that to finish this quest, I'm going to need to make a scallion a sweet potato and a barley so let's just look at this seeds you know what it's going to be faster if i just type scallion so the scallion seed you get by crossbreeding carrot and sugar cane so <laughs> i'm gonna make one so you know what sugar cane if i look at sugar cane i can make coffee seed i can make scallion seed i can make sweet potato seed using potato i can make barley seed using normal seed so I'm going to have this set up with this one sugar cane and probably produce all of them. Then I'm going to have tier two done. Once I have tier two done, I have to do tier three, which is tomato seed, rice seed, bean seed, melon seed. And if you look at these, uh, let's look at tomato seed. This one is going to show us that it's crossbred with carrot and sweet potato. It's considered a tier two, a uh, tier three, sorry, because I need a sweet potato that I could only get by another cross breeding. So until I have my sweet potato, there's no point in doing that. And then if you look at this, tier three, tier four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's going to make for a lot of seed breeding. And it's one of the part of this that's kind of boring. I have two choice. I can grow these to be 10, 10, 10, which is technically what you would want because it means you'll produce more seeds. The problem with 10, 10, 10 is that it takes a long time. The advantage of 10, 10, 10 though, is that once you have a seed at 10, 10, 10, if you crossbreed a 10, 10, 10 with a 10, 10, 10, you get a 5, 5, 5. So you get a big, like a big improvement on the next that's going to come out it's just going to be easier to get uh, for the next seed so let's see if any of these are an improvement so carrot is two one one so these are not analyzed which means they're one 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 so let's just break this and put the two one one nope i didn't do it fast enough and i ended up having something else copied oh wow just having problem clicking right now okay so this one we're not going to use and then the melon is one one two ten where's my melon one one ten one one ten so let's break that one put the one one ten right here and break this one and now i want to employ the uh clipping method so i already have this one grown and you know what the moment i get one i might as well try it say it didn't take but 
I'm not losing anything by trying it immediately. Let's get two of this. And let's try. Didn't take. So my first one were very lucky. But now I'm not getting such good luck. One, two. Oh, so this one's taken. Perfect. I don't have to work with the potato clipping anymore. Let's try this. And this one's taken. Perfect. And that's... Oh, no! Buy watering can. So I'm going to have to make another watering can. <laughs> this was not planned. Not planned at all. But that's what happens when there's a little bit of lag and you're impatient like me. You just switch and you hit Q again, which was really bad. Let's put this down and see if we can get the carrot to grab. Nope, the carrot did not catch. And the melon seed is just at 75. Ah, I always forget, that's why I don't put the crop stick usually. Because you don't want something to get duplicated on it. It's crazy how it's easy for a seed to expand, but not necessarily for a clipping to take. No, and oh yes, I got the seed. Okay, so sometimes when the seed is too small, like not grown enough and you break it, you just lose the seed. So it's something that you usually want to be careful about doing. I can put the crop stick right there and let's try again for the carrot. Please take, I just want to be done with this. Yes, and it took. Okay, so now we have all of our seeds. I think all of our seed have at least grown once. Not 100% sure about that, but I think that they've all grown at least once. This is mature. Can put the crossbreeding. This is mature. Crop stick. And both of these are mature. Crop stick. And you don't want to leave these too long because, see this one? Oh, it did a wheat seed, but it could have expended the beet. That's the only problem of having them really close to each other. Now, the thing with that is... Uh, Where's my other seed to analyze? Did I put all of the seed already? Don't need these, don't need these. So this one is a 2 2 one, ten. Oh, really? 2 2 one, ten, two, two, one ten. <laughs> So unfortunately, no improvement. That does happen. It's usually rare, but it does happen. So you have to deal with that fact. Where's my beetroot? 2 2 three. So this one is 2 2 ten, two, two, ten. Let's put this in this put that one roll it quickly and you have to do this during the day so when I'm going to go into my time-lapse I'm probably going to be spending my day farming seeds and trying to improve them and my next uh, the night working on some other things in the base and like I said I just want to finish this and then we're going to get onto something else because I don't want to spend my whole episode just doing seed but I wanted to get the basis in uh, uh, strong enough so that you guys have a good idea of where this is going. Oh, I have two more that might have grown. So, not the beetroot, the industrial, and the rice seed. Come on, just give me that one. And this one, please take. Ah, uh, yes. I'm tired of playing with the clippings. <laughs> <coughs> so, rice didn't improve, MC did improve. And this seed is 2 to 1 10. Are you guys kidding me? Twice and no improvement. So that's kind of annoying. And this one didn't improve. And this one, it did improve. So now we have to break this. Put the industrial hemp seed. Just grow. Grow it quickly. And you know what? Let me grab that. And I'm going to leave this here and continue after in my time lapse. This is... A bit too boring for me to continue doing this with you guys. I'm also going to put my worms in here because I don't need them for now. Oops. 2-2, two, two, so that's an improvement. Okay, so now on to the next part of the episode. The automation that I've been working on. So as I showed you last episode, this is now like well automated. Not 100%, but well, oh, am I done? Nope, still have some metal, so just give me one second. Last time we made a lot of alchemical glass. So what I wanna do is get that going as fast as possible. Come here, 
do this. And you know what? That sound is annoying. Let's just stop the block breaker for now. It's not like I need that much cobblestone right now. So this, uh, I'm just going to get two or three stacks and put them in. And what I'm thinking is basically adding an alchemical fusion table on top of all of that to break this down and put it in as we need it. So 32, come on, 48, 64. Let's just go put that in so that my um, my gold is going to continue going. I'm going to put three right here and one directly here just to accelerate the process. And if I look at this now, I have some cobalt to repair my pickaxe when it breaks. I got a lot of gold and I got a lot of iron. Let me just take three stacks of iron. I know that for what I want to do today, I'm going to need it. But one of the things that we have to do right now, and oh, let me get rid of my death marker. Narrator narrates all. Okay. Narrator off. Um... So one of the things I want to do is improve that setup because the problem I have right now is that this one is an iron casing and this does not permit me to make glowstone. And the nether brick casing in my other playthrough, I tried making it work with the automation and it didn't. But the problem is that I need at least 1700 and this combustion heater gives me 1500. But good thing. There's a tip and trick from Crater Ape, the osmium casing. So when I was looking at the casing, I kind of didn't notice the osmium casing. I was looking at the endstone casing because of look at the efficiency. And I thought of doing that one, but look at the endstone. Endstone we can make already, but it's four ender pearl, two sugar, two bone block, two nether quartz and six diorite per one. And we're, we would need eight of these and then the purple block uh, you make from these purple chorus fruit which is a cooked chorus fruit which you get from life infusion with four eyes of ender so not easy stuff to make like not yet but the osmium casing which i don't know why i didn't notice i just thought oh osmium is from usually coming from mechanism and we haven't unlocked mechanism but these things are not locked i need eight and an extra four here and if I look at how to make this, I can do it with osmium alchemical ore dust, which is a very simple recipe. So I want to make this, and I want to make this sooner rather than later. I'm going to get that done because look at this. I only have two glowstone, which means I need to make more glowstone. And you make glowstone with four redstone. Uh, let me take 20. And the blaze powder. Where's my blaze powder? It's probably here somewhere. And I'm going to have to do a manual process to get this right now, which is really annoying, as you know, doing this manually all the time. So let's move this here, this here, and we're going to go break that. And I'm going to need some wood. Not from the back. It doesn't work from the back. I always forget. So let me break this into three, three pile. Let's come back here and push all this in and now we're just going to make a little bit of glowstone because i want that osmium because it means i won't need this anymore one two three four uh one two one two that's five glowstone you know what i'm just going to make i feel like a double recipe would be enough one two three four one two I say I feel that it would be enough, but it's one of those things that if it's not enough, I'm going to waste more time having to come back than to actually do what I wanted. Four, one, two. And one last time, because with 20, I'm sure I'm going to be okay. So, oh, come on, give me the block. Hello. One, two, three, four, one, two. Hello? Wow. If, there, if that wasn't lag, I don't know what it was. Then I need some clay, but clay is super easy. Just need one, two, three, four block of them, and I don't have my water gun. Where's my water gun? That thing is so useful. I wish 
I wish it wasn't more mod pack, honestly. It, it makes a big difference being able to carry 20 buckets of water with you everywhere. It's almost too OP. So all of this, and now if I come here, I'm going to remove this, and <laughs> I'm going to have a space problem. Let's eat my rice. I'm still trying to get my ninth heart by eating everything that I can. But I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and the 20, and then I'm going to come back here and just refill this. Still have nine of these. Like I'm gonna have a lot of crystal shards for a little while yet. So let's come back here, and that's a guaranteed. Wow, that's way too much. I'm not making more than that. But with this, I'm guaranteed to be able to craft my osmium casing. So I'm gonna intercept the gold just because I don't really need the gold right now, and I'm going to get that osmium done. While I'm waiting for that osmium to get done, let me just get rid of a couple of things. I should really get rid of all of this food stuff that I have that I don't really need right now. This, this, industrial hemp seed, this, let's keep one beetroot to eat it. Let's keep the popcorn, that's kind of cool. I'll eat that the moment I can, and I'll get rid of the strings. Okay, so let's look at the quest again. I want to complete this, but not today. What I really want to start working on is better storage because I want to unlock more stuff. Like I would like to unlock actually addition because that's going to really improve a lot of things. Actually addition will give me, well, one power and two, another way of getting metal and metals and three, a range collector to be able to collect my drop properly from this mob farm. So I also want to get into a basic factory because basic piping basic piping you are now able to make pipes these are the type of pipes you are mostly going to be using wooden pipe they are what extract items from inventory and machine they require a redstone engine that's powered via redstone signal to work however if they aren't transferring anything for about a minute the engine will stop working and will need to be turned off for a few seconds Clay pipes import items in the first inventory machine if it's full, they'll move to the next one. Golden pipe speed up the items. Iron pipe allow items to travel in only one direction so they can be useful for connecting multiple piping systems together. So it's, these are really simple to make. They're basically one of the type of material and glass. Let's just show you quickly. You want to make gold pipe, two gold around a glass. You want to make clay pipe, two clay block around a glass. So it's very easy. It's eight at a time. Super easy to do. And that's how I'm going to pipe the stuff from here. So I want to get this done and I want to get to river great. I don't know where we're going to get to that today though, because there's so much to do, but in better storage, I want to do these, the compacting drawer and the drawer controller, drawer controller. The drawer controller allows you to interact with multiple drawers that are next to one another. And then the draw compacting drawer, the compacting drawers allow you to switch between up to three compressed variants of a material. So these uh, cobblestone here that's getting filled up right here, this that's already at 2048 and full, if I put it in a compacting drawer instead, I could get two double compressed cobblestone so I could get a crazy amount of cobblestone. So that's something I really want to get done. And you know what? This is stuff. The other thing I want to get done is this whole quest of drawers. So I'm going to need some copper. I'm going to need some silver. I'm going to need some more gold. I think I have enough gold because I want to get to these. I want to unlock the obsidian chest and then I want to unlock the iron colossal chest, the uncolossal chest because all of these are gates to open another step. Just the, the same way that here in basic farming, I kind of purp purposefully skipped over that one. I wanna get my seed to tier three so that I can then make my mystical flower seed, which are going to give me all of the mystical flower. And once I get one of each of the mystical flower, that's what's going to unlock the mystical flora. And we're gonna be able to start working on Botania. And Botania has infinite cobblestone rod and an infinite um, dirt rod. So when if I want to start making big farms, that's going to be very useful. So as you can see, I want to craft everything right now. So I really have to limit myself. 
So today I'm, I want to concentrate on getting my drawer system working properly because like I said, during the night I want to work on piping and bringing stuff everywhere and during the day I want to work on farming during my time lapse. So let's get working on those drawers. So if I look at drawer, the drawer, compacting drawer is two piston and an iron and a drawer. That's easy. The drawer controller, another drawer, a diamond, and redstone comparators, nether quartz. So I basically need two nether quartz. I'm going to check if I still have some. I'm not sure that I still have. And you know what? Just to make sure that it goes faster, I'm going to go quartz. Oh, quartz like this. And once this is typed once, I can click nope. Any inventory, nope. Nope. And know immediately if I have quartz or not. I feel I'm not going to have any quartz, but it should be very easy to make my first quartz. Mm, nope. Well, not my first quartz because we've already had quartz. And this is all dirty surface quartz. So that's why I need to come back here. And we're going to need to do a little bit of grinding. And you know what? I have to remove this now because it's just... Oh, not this one. Sorry. This one because this is a bit annoying. But I do know that we had pre-prepared some netherrack. So let's grab all of this netherrack. Let's go like this. Compress it all. And now we need a grinder. Ah, oh, come on. Do I have a grinder somewhere? Right here. Don't want to put too much down because I don't want to waste the time doing this. Let's just remove this from my inventory. Break this and... 9 dirty quartz, you know what? That's good enough for me right now. So let's throw this all back here. Everything I don't need. And let's just get the dirty nether quartz. Dirty quartz in here. And I got all 9, so I'm good. So we can start crafting what I wanted. Let's come back here. Grab a couple of stone. Grab a couple of cobblestone. Transform some wood. I'm going to do 10 operation at a time. So let's go drawer. Need two piston. Oh, redstone, of course. Going to need a lot of. Oh, I hope I have enough redstone. Yes, okay, so I have enough redstone. And you know what? I say that, but I kind of forgot something that I just popped back in my mind. Hey, <laughs> remember last time? We had automated redstone, so that went well. So let's do this. I need. Nope. Oh, this is annoying. Two piston. Piston? And do I have any unused drawers? Not here, not here, not here. Okay, let's make some more drawers. I didn't want to make any drawers, but this is just going to be simpler. So like this, and let's just make the simple drawers twice. Boy, just barely enough material every time. So this is going to be the second drawer. So now we can make the compacting drawer. Like so, and clean the uh, no rain allowed. I see the quality of the episode go down so much. Oi, I can't because it's not night. I hate the rain, I hate that you can't stop the rain because now this is making the whole recording kind of blurry and ugly. I'm thinking just for that of building a roof over my whole base because it annoys me that much. So I can't do anything about it now. So let's continue with better storage. We got this one done. Let's grab this loot chest. And now let's make the other drawer. The other drawer requires six of these torch. And I only have one. Better make 16 because I'm gonna need more. And we said six, so let's make six. And I should be able to make my two comparator now. One. Why can't I make a second one? Am I... Stone. I didn't grab enough stone. Let's come back here. Let's make the second one. And now we should have everything except the diamond. I have space for a diamond. Oh, this is making my whole recording so ugly. I'm so sad that there's rain so often in this. It feels like we get rain every three or four days. And a compact, uh, not a compacting drawer, but a drawer controller. And this is why the drawer controller is amazing. Let me come here. 
put it right here and now see the redstone on me you can just right click this no more redstone I can show you with clay also I put clay here and if I come here and right click this clay disappear because everything oh that's a bad reward everything that has a place in here will just go to the right place to all the drawers connected so when I use a piping system and I pipe the item into this drawer controller it will just magically sort itself and go in the right position I'm going to have a problem with some type of items though that I'm not sure how to handle yet I'm gonna have a problem with these items and what I'm thinking might be a very easy slash dumb solution is I'm thinking of just having one drawer that has nothing and is not locked and have a uh, a um, hopper under it <laughs> so that what happens is that if I have a new item and I click on I think that if I push to it it's going to force it in that empty spot but I'm not sure about that so I might have a flow problem. I just don't know how to handle it yet because we don't really have any way of sorting items at the moment. Maybe what I do is send all of this into a big drawer and then a hopper into this and I just empty the big drawer once in a while. I really haven't found the solution yet. But now I'm in a position where I can stop, start working toward that. Let's grab this quest and see. Ooh! Lily pad of fertility that that improved growth. So I'm gonna have to put water in my uh, in my farm because I'm going to want to put those down. Oh wow! I'm going to want to put those down for sure. Let's eat the popcorn. Let's come back here so that we're not under the rain. And is it night already? What time is it? It's 4:02 daytime. So no, we're not night. Okay. So next step. I said I wanted to get into this uh, line quest line and we need some copper and we need some silver and we're gonna need a lot of copper because we also need copper for here so that's all done with alchemical dust alchemical dust <coughs> we're gonna want some copper right here which is pumpkin seeds and gunpowder we're going to want some silver dust which is sugar and blaze powder and that's pretty much it for now. For for the silver, we don't need all that much. I think that we want maybe like eight, 16 silver max, whereas the copper, we want two stacks. So I'm going to grab what I need for the silver. It's one, two, three, four. Let's, let's make six, and I'm gonna need three sugar. One, two, up, oh, all three sugar that I already had. Put this in here, and that's going to make I'm going to make 12 silver which should turn into 16 so that should be really good 10 let's grab everything 13 14 so 14 that's more than I thought I thought I was going to get 12 only let's interrupt the gold again <laughs> poor gold never going to get finished my osmium's here so let's take a break and do the osmium because that's going to be a big quality of life improvement and I just forgot that I pushed all of my iron in here. So let's come back. No, that's not a crafting table. That's a crafting table. Oy. So one here, four around. That's going to give us a gear. And eight around. And I think I have enough. Yes, I have enough to make a second one if I wanted to. Now let's come back here. Break this. Let's grab this. Let's break that frame. Where did it go? Probably in the back. I'll grab it after. Put the osmium. Put the iron combustion heater back in it. Let's go back there to grab my iron casing. So now, look at this. 3,000. So I'm not going to have any problem with that anytime soon. And I can just go like this. Put 64 in here. Hello? Oh, come on. Put the next 21 in here. And now I can show you the beauty of this is that I can go... I want to make some red, uh, some glowstone. Uh, no, not like this. Which is 4 redstone. Let's grab 12 redstone. And let's grab 6 of this. 
Now I can come back here. I can start my engine, push all of the redstone, all of the base powder, and one craft, two craft, three craft. All my glowstone is done. So I have automation of my glowstone if I want to, and of my redstone for sure. So now everything just got a wee bit easier. So Crater A, that was an amazing tip. Thank you so much. I would have rushed Osmium four episodes ago if I knew about that. So when I investigated, I purposefully ignored it because I thought it was mechanism and it didn't matter, but it did matter. So then the copper, I want to get some copper. Let me look into copper. I'm going to need some gunpowder and some pumpkin seeds. Gunpowder, pumpkin seeds. You know, that's one of the things where I know I have some all over the place, but I know that I can make some. That's the beauty of the pumpkin. It's one of the only seed that of one of the only element that I know for sure that you can break into and have one just by breaking the pumpkin. Most of the other seed, like the cactus, I can't break a cactus and make seeds out of the cactus. I need to actually invent the cactus seed and once I have the cactus seed, I'm going to need to um, I'm going to need to duplicate it by making clippings or stuff like that. So let's just do this. Oh. Okay. I kind of went overboard there. Not, not saying that I did go overboard, but I feel like I kind of did. <laughs> I totally did. That, that was way too much. And let's put all of this in. And let's just have that continue. While that's continuing, do I have my silver? Yes, I got 17 silver, got 31 gold, and now I'm working on gold again, I'm pretty sure. If only... It Oh no, still silver. Wow. So my 14 silver gave me 17 and it's going to give me a lot more. So let, you know what, I'm going to need a lot of copper. So let's just have that continue. And since I already have all of the silver that I want, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go interrupt the silver with copper. And now we're going to put the silver as next. You know what, let's leave a spot for more copper because as I come here it's just going to give me some more so I can always insert it in this lot and that should start working on copper. I'm just waiting to see that I get my first copper. Yeah, perfect. So now let's work on these next quests and that's all we're going to try and finish for this episode. We're, close, we're already at 42 minutes but I want to get started. First it wants us to make a dirt chest. You can make a dirt chest to store your stack of dirt and a dirt chest, dirt chest is made with eight dirt around the chest. So this is coarse dirt. It doesn't count. I'm gonna need to make three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's break all of this. So that's eight. Now all I need is a chest, and I'm pretty sure I have some chest on me. So let's come back here. So eight around one chest is going to give me a dirt chest which is very useless let's put it down right here how to use your dirt chest we'll look into that in another point it doesn't really matter right now claim this quest then we want a copper chest so copper chest how do you make a copper chest you make a copper chest with eight copper around a chest which is why i should have started the copper earlier i just kind of had a blitz and forgot about it. So let's put that in here. You know what? Let's make all of the copper that I can. Hello? Put all of you in here. Put all of you in here. And oh, I got my 16. I'm so happy. I thought I was going to get stuck. So now you put eight around the chest, which is going to give us a copper chest, which is another quest completed. Let's grab the last one this time. Then we want an iron chest. Let's just do this chest. And then we can write iron, so we can always delete the last part. So the iron chest is four with four glass around a copper, or eight around the chest. I'm going to keep the copper chest, and I have a reason for that. Let, well, let me show you. If I right-click the iron, eight silver around a copper is going to give me a silver chest. And I don't have much use for the silver, and I have enough silver, whereas the copper, I'm still searching for my copper. So let me come back here do another set of four chests like so and I don't have enough iron I didn't grab enough iron this is getting annoying 
I'm going to do some research to see what's causing the light. And you know what? It's night, so I can basically go sleep and stop the rain. Because it seems like the rain never stopped by itself in this uh, game. Come on. Hey, voila. Rain should be over now. Sky should clear up. We're going to have a good time now. So let's do this and eat around like so, which is going to give me an iron chest, which is another quest. Claim the middle one. Then we want to make a silver chest. So silver chest, again, is one copper and you can put six, eight silver rounds. So it's not the most cost effective way, but I didn't know what to do with my copper chest and I wanted to get rid of it. So this is a silver chest, middle one again. Let's just look at what we've had for reward. Uh, 32 experience nugget and four lime glow panel. Don't know what the glow panel are for, but they do look cool. Let's get rid of this. Don't need it in my inventory. Forgot my third loot box. Dark Oak Leaf. <laughs> this is a weird, interesting, useless reward. Some leaves carpet. Okay. That's different. Never seen that reward before. Let's look at the quest book. Then we want to make a gold chest. So now that's where it becomes interesting because gold, more of a problem. I don't want to spend all my gold. So gold around the silver chest with glass. So now I need glass. Oh, tell me that I have glass somewhere. Whew. I remember preparing some, but I was worried that I didn't for a moment. So let's make that one. And then I'm going to need a second one with eight gold around an iron chest. So now I have two gold chests. Let's come back here. Gold chest is completed. Bottom one. Slime armor. Okay. And that's a thing. Don't really need it right now. Let's put it back here. Let's continue with the next chest. And now we get a diamond chest. The diamond chest has three more columns than the gold chest. How do you make diamond chest? I think that there's two recipe and one that's cheap enough for us. Yes, gold. That's why I wanted two gold. I need four diamonds because I want to make two diamond chests. And that's all of my diamonds. I'm going to have to do a lot more grinding in between episodes. Probably something I'm going to do at night also. So let's do this and let's grab two diamond chests. Claim that reward. And let's look at the next quest, crystal chest. The crystal chest has the space of a diamond chest, but you can see what's in it. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it at the same time because I don't know if it creates lag, the fact that it has to show everything. And the crystal chest is done how? It's done with a diamond chest with glass around. So let's do this, but let's do only one. So that's one other, what? One other quest completed. Let's grab this one. And now, obsidian chest. The obsidian chest is a diamond chest, but it's resistant to explosion. And if you go look at the obsidian chest, you need a diamond chest. And you cannot use a crystal chest. You can't do anything with a crystal chest. In my last blast play playthrough, I only made one thinking I was going to then turn it into an obsidian, but I couldn't. And we want to make one of each. So now, all I need to be able to finish this... Oh, punchy sticks. That's kind of cool. And they stick to wall. You know what? This is much cheaper. You know, that's going to be my solution. I'm going to use the punchy sticks for the wall all around here to make sure that the spiders don't gunk my whole... Uh, my whole... Uh, mob spawner so let's throw that in here for now but that's what i wanted to show you now i need obsidian you remember how i did obsidian last time i'm just going to melt stuff uh, melt more um, lava put it here and get the lava back and just make all of this for the next episode in my time lapse i'm not going to do it as part of this episode i don't want to waste the time on it but now i'm going to be able to finish that and i think that by finishing that one it's actually going to unlock actually addition unless it's the uncolossal chest or this one but we have everything with the copper being cooked right now next episode we'll be able to do the uncolossal chest and the colossal chest down to iron we're also going to be able to make the obsidian chest which mean that we will have everything in place to be able to um, complete what we wanted to do i want to check something <gasps> it does work Okay, so I think that might be my solution for now. I think that my big dump chest is going to be this one right here. And I'm just going to be able to access it because look at the space. It has so much space. 
So I might be working off of that, even though I dislike that it's invisible, but at least I, I need to start cleaning stuff and I'll have everything in my easy crafting station right there. So guys, like I said, we're, we have everything in place to start doing this up to iron. I'm not going to look at silver and diamond. This is too expensive and this is too long term. Probably not going to finish this quest line for a long time. But next episode, we're going to get this done to open up those quests. We're going to finish basic tinkering. And we're going to start a basic factory to start getting resource from river. These great. They're not the best thing ever, but they're very inexpensive loot. So just for that, it's worth it. So in my time lapse, I'm going to farm my seeds to try to improve them so I can get a good base for level one. I'm going, oh, I can't do the loot, the drops automation because I didn't make the piping. So we have to do that next episode for sure. So I'm probably going to run up here and empty this a couple of times just so that I can progress. And do I have, I have a diamond chest. So while I'm, oh no, I can't. I was going to say that while I'm waiting to make my obsidian, Maybe I'm going to start dumping things in here. I just don't know. I'm going to clean up my inventory because now it's got to a point where it's ridiculous. And if I still have a little bit of time, I need to break this. I need to put this in a dark room fully enclosed because I'm getting to the point where this is a problem. And this is bringing me in a situation where I can't progress because uh, I'm not duplicating those seed and I'm not getting better nether wart seed which are going to be used in the crossbreeding, I'm pretty sure. But that's really everything I want to do. I'm going to end the episode on this view so that you see the comp the drawer and the, uh, the crystal chest right here. And you can see where my progression is. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!